nominations. Let's meet the starters for race three. Number one is Fox Valley Kitty, trained and driven by Tony Alanya for the owner, Fox Valley Standard Breads of Sherman. Two, Heather Anna, owned by Duncan Foundry and Machine Works Incorporated of Alton, trained by John Cisna, Mike Rogers in the bike. Number three is the undefeated Big Old Ruby Red Dress, owned by Steve Newcomb of Chicago. Tex Motes trains Dave McGee will drive. Four is the Coco Yankee, owned by Stacy DeRoos of Charleston. He is the trainer driver. Number five, Hannah Beth, is owned by Jerry and Helen Logan of Springfield, trained and driven by Jerry Logan. Six, Madeline Marshall, owned by Crawford Standard Bread Farm Incorporated of Crawfordsville, Indiana. Ken Crawford trains Jim Curran will drive. Number seven, Sycamore Molly, owned by Susan Pudick of Lewiston, trained by Dave Fagan. He is the driver. Number eight, Drew's Lover Girl, owned by Buddy Simpson and by Carl Monte of Fairfield, Illinois, and Depew, New York, trained by Buddy Simpson. The driver is Clay Simpson. And number nine is Madrigal, owned by Jim and Bambi Fox of Paducah, Kentucky. Jim Fox, the trainer. Connell Willis is the driver. Fast track. And we should also remind you once again that number seven, Sycamore Molly, does wear the trotting hobbles as she has done in her three previous starts. And post time is less than five minutes away. Number three, big old Ruby Red Dress, the odds on favorite. Let's see if she can remain unbeaten. Here they come. Hannah Beth is off stride. The rest are off and trotting. Big old Ruby Red Dress goes out for the lead. Heather Anna gets away second toward the inside. Fox Valley Kitty comes away third. Madrigal is away fourth, moving very wide into the first turn. As now, big old Ruby Red Dress trouts on for the lead, and she gets clear by a length. Madrigal goes three wide around the turn into second, moving up around Heather Anna, who now is third at the quarter-mile mark. Then Fox Valley Kitty, DeCoco Yankee, Madeline Marshall, Sycamore Molly past the quarter-mile mark. Drew's lover girl next to last. Hannah Beth is the trailer and she's off stride again. The opening quarter 30 and 3 fifths. Madrigal made the top but only for a moment. Big old ruby red dress goes right back to the lead by a length at the entry to the back stretch. Madrigal now second by two and then Heather Anna who's racing third toward the inside. Fox Valley Kitty DeCoco Yankee, Madeline Marshall Sycamore Molly and Drew's lover girl with Hannah Beth the distant trailer as they trot by the half chasing big old Ruby Red Dress. The half in 102 and 2. Ruby leads it by 3. Madrigal goes second a length. And then Heather Anna, who's trotting third by a length. Fox Valley Kitty is racing fourth by 5. Madeline Marshall moves up on the outside of DeCoco Yankee around the turn. Then Drew's Lover Girl is next to last now. And a long way back after Sycamore and Molly until Hannah Beth, who trails midway on the final turn. Big old ruby red dress, a five-length lead, back to Fox Valley Kitty, who goes second by five, and Madeline Marshall third. Drew's lover girl is fourth, three-quarters and 135 and two. Big old ruby red dress up at the top of the lane, chased by Fox Valley Kitty, who's only two lengths off the leader, moving into the home stretch. But big old ruby red dress has not been asked for much, and off three quarters and 35 and two, she ought to have plenty left in the tank. She's drawing clear of Fox Valley Kitty, Drew's lover girl to third. At the finish, big old ruby red dress is just on idle, and she wins it by three. Fox Valley Kitty was second, Drew's lover girl third. Time for the mile, 204 flat. Winner circle, ladies and gentlemen, here is the official winner of the third race. The unbeaten big old ruby red dress, Dave McGee, the winning driver. Trainer Tex Moats shaking hands with uh, owner Steve Newcomb, who is now shaking hands with the winning driver. Steve is from Chicago. He bought this filly back around the first week of July for $38,000, and we'll try to get his thoughts here in just a moment. By Armbro Classic. March 7th, sired a winner. Full-time job, sires a winner. And now Armbro Classic. As the winning trainer and driver and owner are exchanging thoughts here in the winner's circle, we'll let them converse and then try to grab a word here in just a moment. We've got our uh, winning owner, Steve Newcomb from Chicago. Steve, first of all, we told the crowd you bought this filly a few weeks ago, but how often have you had a chance to actually see her race? Actually, this is my first day. 
first time. Now, you were just talking to your trainer and your driver, and I'm sure one thing a lot of people are wondering, what are your guys' thoughts? A, I think it's obvious this filly could have gone more. How much more could she go, and can she trot with Edict in that final next week? Uh, I, I can't answer that. That's yet to be seen. Uh, I depend a lot on, the, obviously, the trainer and the driver to make those decisions. Absolutely. And, Steve, I tell you what, we've had a lot of fun with you involved in this business. I know that you enjoy a chance to get out of the Windy City and come down to visit Springfield. And we're glad you finally had a chance to watch this filly, and we want to see you back here for the championship final. I will be here. Thank you very much. That's winning owner Steve Newcomb, ladies and gentlemen. He owns big old Ruby Red Dragon.